morning. <laughs> Yeah, we, there was like three of them from last night. Beautiful morning, huh? Yeah, man. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Field Trips. Welcome back to San Clemente Island, 50, 60 miles off the coast of San Diego. This is day two out here, morning number two. Yesterday was just an absolute blast. Got my first California halibut. Tons of halibut came to the deck. Lots of yellowtail, calico bass, a big black sea bass was caught, all kinds of stuff. This morning we're on a different side of the island. We're on the inside, basically the mainland side, the front side of the island. It is just flat, glassy calm this morning. Could not ask for better conditions. We're protected from the swell in here and there's no wind, much like yesterday. Just incredible. This is going to be a treat. We're out here for a Fish Village mothership trip. If you missed last episode, we got 22 kayak anglers with 22 kayaks on the Islander, an 88 foot vessel out of San Diego. We motored through the night two nights ago, got here yesterday morning, woke up in basically kayak fisherman's paradise, fished all day on the kayaks, got back on board while we were eating dinner, motored over to this side of the island. It's looking prime. It's about six in the morning right now. Most of the kayaks are in. And it's almost my turn to get in there, so that's enough yapping. I'll see you guys out on the water. And we're off, day two. The crew here at the Islander is just so good, makes it so easy. Can't say enough about them. Goodness gracious did I mention it is a beautiful morning. I literally couldn't dream up better conditions. It is like a pond out here. A little bit foggy, but really I like a little low light for fishing anyways, anytime. So gorgeous, beautiful, just beautiful. So we're gonna head in and grab some bait from the boat. Finally got my boat organized. Gonna head over here to the help boat gets a live bait and then we're gonna head up and so you can see here it's a lot different than yesterday yesterday where it was kind of flatter more gradual slope on land it was kind of a gradual slope under the water as well here we got these really steep cliffs and I'm in 183 feet of water maybe 200 yards off the off the cliff face here so really steep drop off they're telling us is there's bigger grade yellowtail over here and that's what I'm gonna be going for this morning and then probably this afternoon switch it up do some calico bass and maybe go for some some california sheephead as well got my first california halibut yesterday but that was a grind i'm done with that let's see what we can get into today let's go get some bait hey man he said that he left me one of those big greenback mackerels in yeah, the front yeah. tank if it's in there which oh yeah loaded up with bait yeah, oh. there for you. oh yeah thanks brother Sir, yeah. you're the masturbator. Appreciate it. Good luck, my man. Thanks. Check out the size of this jellyfish. Looks gnarly. All right, so first things first. This morning, last night, the guys were catching some jumbo greenback mackerel, much bigger baits. And they, they were gracious enough, I didn't catch any, they were gracious enough to let me take one of these things this morning. I'm gonna start off trolling this guy on a flat line, no weight. There's big yellow tail around, and I think, you know, if, if big baits, big fish is any truth to it, this will be the bait. Look at that guy. Jumbo greenback mackerel. Gonna go through the top jaw right between his nostrils and then since it's so big we go ahead and run a treble stinger about halfway down the bait just like that and that way if something short strikes it halfway down the bait should still hook up got the help boat the skiff is going out to deliver fresh bait 
water, snacks. I think a few guys want breakfast beers. And the Islander will hang out here for about another 30 minutes to an hour and then it's gonna kinda leapfrog us as we work our way north up the side of this island. It'll pull anchor, move up there, anchor back down. It'll do that a few times. So at any point we can run back to the boat if we need to or want to. I almost didn't notice this guy sitting over here. A couple little sea lions hanging out on the rocks. Got bait flicking out over here by the cliff wall. It's feeling fishy out here this morning. But I mean, look, even with the glare, you can just see perfectly down through the water. Really, really, really clear. A lot of dolphins coming through right here, porpoises, right here in the middle of the group. Oh, look at that. They're chasing flying fish out of the water. They are hunting these big flying fish. We were catching in the net last night right next to the boat. How cool is that? <laughs> look at it. Oh! Oh, I wasn't ready for oh. oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Look at this! Man, they're chasing them down. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is incredible to witness right now. Dolphins hunting flying fish. Oh! Man, he jumped clean out of the water and the flying fish was just right in front of his face. This is wild, man. I've seen tons of porpoises. I've never seen them hunting flying fish like this. That's like once in a lifetime experience to see this, man. Hell yeah. I have never seen them hunting flying fish. This is wild. And there's a lot of flying fish around. They're all flying for the shallows. Incredible, man. Oh my gosh, they're still going after him. These flying fish, they can fly so far. <laughs> I wanted to put another bait out, but man, I can't stop watching. Every time I put the camera down, it gets crazy again. I have never seen that. How cool. Wow, man. Oh, there's a yellowtail right there. I see a yellowtail. Oh yeah, okay guys, that was a bigger yellowtail. Well, the surface iron caught a yellow yesterday. Maybe it'll catch that one today. That was a bigger yellowtail, you guys. That's what we're out here looking for. And he was heading back towards my bait. Maybe he'll pick it up. Well, that's a good sign. If I saw a yellow cruising right under my boat, that tells me that I'm a good distance off the, off the cliff face here, that the, at least some of them are running in this zone. That was a good size yellowtail, about three times the size of the ones we were catching yesterday, which is what they told us we'd be getting into here. Let's see if we can't bring a couple to the boat. There's yellowtail right here. There's yellowtail right behind my boat. I just spooked one when that landed. They're following my boat. What is going on? No way. There was two big yellowtail right behind my boat, like following my boat. I heard a little swirl and I turned around and could see two in the water, big ones. And then I chunked my surface iron back there and spooked another one. 
What is happening? Why don't they want my bait? It's back there. There's some big yellows cruising around, guys. I've seen four now, right on the surface, but they're not hitting my bait. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh gosh, on the surface iron, I think it's a yellow. Oh, gotta be a yellow. Yeah, I'm hooked up to a yellow on the surface iron. Right now, you guys, feels pretty good. Oh, there we go. So we've all been seeing yellows. They haven't been hitting anything. And I've been throwing the surface iron like crazy, burning it back to the boat. Pretty exhausting. And uh, there we go. Finally, I got it done. They're not hitting my live bait. That big mackerel I put on which I've still got up behind me, so I gotta be careful with this and keep that line up behind me. Uh, but the surface iron got it done. I am now a believer in this lure. If you saw last episode, the first, the first day out here, I used to always make fun of this lure because it's so ugly. Only the West Coasters use this thing, but man, I'm a believer now. Right now in the morning when we're all seeing yellowtail with our eyes and they're not biting anything, surface iron is the first thing to get bit for me. Oh man, he's tugging. <sighs> Feels like a pretty good one. Feels bigger than the one I got yesterday. I see it down there. It's a yellow. It doesn't look huge, actually. They're just so dang strong. Man. Golly. Any other species, I would think this was a humongous fish. With these yellows, even the small ones are just bruisers. There's bait flicking out on the surface everywhere. Okay, buddy, relax, relax. Oh no, not in the rudder. Watch it, watch it. Oh God, dog, get up here. Oh, not in the drive. This guy's trying to get off in every way possible right now. Man, it's really not big. It's crazy how strong these fish are. It's absurd. God. Oh, look at all this bait. I mean, that is why these yellows are here. Oh, I see just hordes of, looks like sardines underneath my boat. There might be mackerel, it's hard to tell. Really not a big fish. I've seen some giant ones in the water this morning. The big ones are not hitting. They're just a little too smart for that. But all the group is going kind of the way we're supposed to be going. I keep circling right here by the Islander because I'm seeing these yellowtail. I'm still a couple hundred yards from the mothership. Look at this, I'm in a school of bait. Just enormous, I need to get this guy bled and get my, uh, the surface iron back in there. There's gotta be more of these guys hunting around here with this much bait here, gotta be. Okay. Let him bleed out for just a second. All right, we guys, starting off shaping out to be a pretty fun morning here. If these yellows, if more of these yellows will cooperate, golly, even the small ones, just freaking bruisers. There we go. First yellow of the morning. Oh gosh, ding him in the angler app. Yeah, really beautiful fish, not big, golly. When I was fighting it, I thought it was gonna be way bigger than that. Whew, but I will take it. Let's see if we can't get some more. Oh, and I'm just gonna run over to the mothership right now. Drop him off while I'm right here. Whew. First fish in the boat, you guys. Been out here maybe 20 minutes. I'll take that kind of start any day. Oh, especially on this, it's a relatively light rod. And if I haven't already said it a hundred times, I'll say it one more time. Damn, those yellowtail are strong. Woo! Do 
a little drive by here. Uh. Okay. Phew. Oh, I got the sea lion coming back for my bait. No. Oh. He already got my bait. Cool. Look at him. Look at him. Get out of here. About ready to club that sea lion to death. Look at this guy. I did. Yeah, it's on the surf. Oh, I think it just got hit. Wow. I just told him that his bait was dragging on the surface and that he needed to reel it in and check it. And then as I'm staring at it, getting drugged on the surface, I saw a big splash. Oh, and it popped right there. Did it break? Or just pull it? Man, that was cool. I saw that hit, man, right on the surface. All right, afternoon bite seems to be picking up. One guy just called in that he caught a yellow, and here's Jose. Jose's got a yellow on, I'm pretty sure. It looks like something pretty good. He's using 20 pound leader where the rest of us are using heavier, and he just gave me some 20. I'm gonna have to switch over. And I'm kind of becoming a believer. He's, uh, I think, caught the most yellows on the trip. And looks like he's about to gap one more. Phew! Jose's got him dialed. Oh, oh, oh! Nice! Oh, yeah, just hooked up right next to me again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Looks like a better fish. Phew! San Clemente sleigh ride. Yellow? Nice. Towing them all around. Man, he's working you. Jose's on too? Yeah, look. Jose's on back there too. Yeah, Jose just landed one like 10 minutes ago. Oh, Keith, get to work. Yellow? Decent? Oh! Oh! Yeah, get it in the boat! <laughs> nice! That was sweet watching that thing hit. I was looking right at you and I saw your rod bend and then I saw your kayak start flying backwards. Nah, beauty though. They're so strong, man. They're so strong for their size. That's sweet. Nice little one. Nice work, man. How many did that on the trip for you? You got like six or seven, don't you? Uh, this is my, uh, my fourth yellow tail. Fourth I yellow. Three halibut, yeah. Oh yeah, you were slaying the halibut yesterday. Nice, and Jose got his over there. Yep. Got the help boat, the, the skeef boat over there helping them. Cool. Man, why am I not getting bit? <laughs> yep, fish on. Fish on. So I just took off that big mackerel and put out a sardine thinking that maybe the smaller bait would stand out since there's a million mackerel here. No way. Oh. Barracuda. Golly, that was such a fast run. I knew it was a fish and then it didn't feel very heavy. I thought for sure that was gonna be a, a nice yellowtail and it's a dang barracuda. Hey guys, you know if we're keeping barracudas, pretty big one. Okay, well, radio just died. I got another battery, but for right now, I'm not getting an answer on whether or not to keep this guy. So I think I'm just gonna let it go. I don't wanna kill it for no reason. Pretty adamantly against that concept, so. Now the thing is, they've got some gnarly teeth. Oh, and he just went through this, this rope. Great, great. Barracuda, they got some, some pretty scary teeth, quite, quite frankly. It's a pretty good one. This is not the greater Barracuda that they catch in Florida. 
This is uh, some kind of Pacific Barracuda. We catch these in Panama and they're really not bad to eat, but they're also, it's not the best by any means. Hook came right out. They got really kind of gnarly mouths, but yeah. And there he goes. Slimy bugger could not hang on to him. Oh, yeah, golly, slime all over me. Oh, and he might've done something else on me. I don't know what that is. I know what it looks like. Gross. I took that mackerel off, put that sardine on, and I just thought, I mean, immediately, I mean, 30 seconds, maybe less, got a smoking run. And I thought, wow, so rewarding to make a decision like that and have it pay off instantly. And then there was no way to it, and dang barracuda. I mean, cool catch, cool catch. But I think I've only got one of those sardines left. So I'm probably gonna get out of here a little ways so I don't waste it on another barracuda. But after dragging around that big mackerel for a couple hours and nothing, have the sardine out for 30 seconds, get hit on the smaller bait. I think I'm gonna go with another one of those, get a little bit away from this area, try that again. But a little excitement. Gosh, I wish I literally turned the camera off and I bet one second later, crazy run. I wish I could have shared it with you guys. Take my word for it. It was wild. Whew, got the heart pumping. Woke me up a little bit. All right. Now, main thing I need to do right now is check my leader because those guys have sharp, sharp teeth. Yep, and it is all frayed. So I'm gonna cut this above the fray, above the fray, and, uh, and retie this so I don't get my heart broken when a big yellow does take this. By the way, I'm using a pretty small two-aught J-hook on a ring, a solid ring. This is something that I never really see anywhere but on the West Coast. Another one of these kind of regional things, but there's just a solid, solid ring attached to that two-aught hook, but that just allows my live bait to, to really kind of move naturally and not he's not pinned to the hook quite as much, pinned to the line as I'm dragging him around. And so when a big fish looks at him, he can really kind of swim freely and a little more naturally, I think. It, basically, same concept as tying a loop knot. In fact, I had planned on tying a loop knot to it, uh, but Mike had given me a couple of these, these hooks with the ring on it. So pretty much same concept. But again, something that I don't really see anywhere but here in California, I don't know why, it makes a lot of sense. I may have to uh, take some of these down to Panama, try them out down there. Bigger versions, but some kind of octopus tentacle or something. All right, let's try it again. Throw out another sardine. I think I got one left. Oh, well there's one, dead. A couple dead anchovies. I gotta have at least one more sardine left. Got these giant mackerel. Looks like I do not have any sardines left, which is quite unfortunate. So I'm gonna throw the mackerel back on and call over the help boat and have them bring me a sardine or seven. Yeah, 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 I know. All right. Maybe, uh, I mean, the good thing about this big bait is if something does hit it, it ain't gonna be a small fish. Big fishes only. Look at how thick the bait is right here. Wow. You guys, it has been a long time since I saw this much bait, this dense in one spot with my, my naked eye. Like, these are those big mackerel, in fact, they're these, this exact thing. I can see their distinct back pattern. Oh, and something just spooked them. Just tons, millions and millions of bait fish, you guys. And this is right where he just caught that, that stud yellow. And there's gotta be more yellowtail hunting in this area. The problem is, I mean, they gotta find your live bait out of a million baits out here. I'm gonna throw this surface iron while my bait soaks and Maybe the kind of erratic, crazy, fast action of the surface iron will stand out. Man, this side of the island is just so full of life. That is wild. 
I'll probably snag one ripping this thing up. Jeez. They're everywhere. There's gotta be more yellowtail around. That is a that is a guaranteed fact. That's incredible. Let's see if we can't pluck a few more big yellows out of this. Wow, four five at a time? How many is that? I don't need no more bait service. Yeah, we got bait covered. Look at that. Oh man, they can put a good bite. Just drop the sabiki. Yeah, well when you catch five at a time, I guess they would. There's literally five on there, bro. There you go, man. You can take these. Uh okay. And these are the big tickets right here. So. Yeah, I mean if that's what's down here. Sweet. Oh. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of beats. Oh, yeah, That's this, what they're eating. So obviously, right? yeah, this That's is what they're eating. Okay. Well, for years, we, we fish sabiki, not knowing that they made a sabiki rod. <laughs> yeah, the sabiki rod's a game changer, man. And for sure. Damn, that thing is like... Okay. Thanks so much, dude. All right, guys. Well, Tufong here just hooked me up with five fresh baits, jumbo mackerel, and clearly this is what these, these yellows are eating. I mean, there's just a million of them down there. I think the biggest challenge is gonna be making your bait stand out. So I think I'm gonna go kind of to the outside of this huge school of bait and uh, hopefully make mine look like the one lone idiot that's out there by himself and look like an easy meal. That's kind of the only thing I can think of because otherwise the odds that they're gonna eat mine with all these other ones, I don't know. But I had the stinger rig on earlier with two hooks and wasn't getting bit. So I'm gonna go with just a, a single hook on this. Water's super clear, visibility's really good. So hopefully that single hook will be subtle enough. This guy will get bit. Let's walk him away from this big school and see what happens. If I win the big fish pot, I'll split it with you, bro. All right, <laughs> All right we in business. You got what? Lunch time? Yeah, please. Right. There you go, right here. You got the number three right Ooh, there. On, on a plate? Yes, sir. That's so a, fancy. And a fork for you. Wow. Anything else to drink for you, boss? Uh, I'll take another Tecate, man. Cool. Yeah. yeah. There you go, big man. Yeah. You have fun, man. Yeah, it's a little slow right now, but it's okay. All right, you got a beard, some food, weather's bitching. Look at this. You <laughs> couldn't ask for anything better. Caught your, caught your first halibut yesterday. Oh, yeah. Life, stoked? life is good, bro. Yeah, brother. Life is real good. All right, you got All right, so Thank you, guys. Fun. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Bon appetit. It's even got my number on it. Lucky number three. Man, oh, man. Tri-tip steak sandwich, side salad, served on fine china. Can't beat this service. Normally I'm out here eating granola bars. Not today. Man, that dressing's good. Let's dig into this tri-tip steak and cheese sandwich on like a hoagie. I don't know what. Mm. Oh, that's phenomenal. That steak literally like, it's like butter, melts in your mouth. So tender. Oh yeah, guys. Living the life of luxury right now. That's one thing the Islander does so well for this Fish Village Mothership trip. The food is just off the charts the entire time. Dinners, lunches, breakfasts, it's all phenomenal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I got bait slime all over my hands, I don't even care. Man, that's good. Hitting the spot right now. It's so what I needed, I'm feeling good, feeling re-energized. We're gonna scarf this down and go, go catch some fish. 
This is definitely my happy place. Even got a beer, ice cold beer. Cheers, you guys. Actually, I'm lying. Got two ice cold beers, just in case. You know, it's slow, right? Not catch anything, might as well catch a buzz, right? That's what mama always said. Sounds like someone's hooked up to a yellowtail over here. A little ways away, I don't think, I don't know if I'll catch up to him in time, but sounds like it's a decent one. Close to the rocks, I'm gonna move in a little ways. Oh, damn, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Look at that. Damn, big yellowtail, the trip for David. That's a monster. Monster yellowtail, look at that. Nice work, man, on the live bait, huh? Got it here close to shore, huh? Right here. Dang. Yeah, it's been back there too. There's bait all over. So much bait. That shit took me over turned me around. Yeah, man. That's a sleigh ride right there. Cooley. Representing California. Stocked in California. Yeah, stocked it. Fresh and salty. Fresh and salty. <laughs> Corey with the gaff job. A little assist, a little teamwork. Teamwork makes dream work. That's it. That's it. Man, it's good to know the big ones are running this close to short. I got a fish on, but it's not big. Help boat just came by, gave me some sardines. Just dropped one down, this is something pretty small. I see it. Might be a calico. Yep, calico. Not a big one. Nice though. It's been a little bit of a lull here. The last little bit and uh, there's a beautiful little calico bass. Just dropped that sardine in the water, dropped it down to the bottom on the weight. And maybe 30 seconds later, fat, oh gosh, fat, chunky little calico. So this calico bass, they also call them kelp bass. Really, really pretty fish. Not what I'm after, but I'll take it. Nice, David's hooked up over yeah. here. He's got big yellowtail the trip right Hell now. Right. Hell yeah. I don't think this one's big. Not like that 26 pounder he got, but. You, Ricky, right? Oh, it's a bonita. <laughs> Pacific bonita, those are good to eat. These guys are saying they like to eat them raw, sashimi. All right guys, so the help came, brought me a few baits and he told me that someone down here is getting on some yellowtail. Now it's the wrong way. That's the way back towards the boat. That's the way I gotta go before too long. But I got about an hour and a half and I'm just beelined it probably a mile to get back over here. And there's a few kayakers over here and I hear them hooting and hollering. So I'm thinking it was worth the effort, but I basically sprinted back here the wrong direction against the current to see if I can't get a yellow or two here at the end of the day. Whew. We'll see if it pays off. Looks like someone might be hooked up right now. Yep. Yep. Got one. Yeah. Got one on the light set up. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about my other line. I'm just gonna get this guy in. Woo! Might have paid off coming over here, you guys. Yeah! Right on time! <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a yellow or not. It's a light setup, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's a yellow. Uh. 
<laughs> this is on that 20 pound test. And this, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I think that's hung on bottom. Great. Well, now I guess I'm anchored. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> it was worth the sprint, you guys. I'm still out of breath from pedaling over here, but it has a yellow tail on. I saw it and it took back off down. He's a, hey, he's a tough two. <laughs> nice. I heard you already got your limit. Yeah. Killing it, bro. Thanks for sharing this part of the ocean with me. Oh my gosh. Things do not come in quietly. Goodness gracious, get up here. Oh, I see it down there. Not huge, just a light setup, but golly, these fish are so fun and delicious. Okay. I'm trying to swing it around to kind of my gaffed hand here. Let's see if I can. Put a gaff in her quick and take care of my other line and, and try to get some more. Got it. Got her. Yellowtail baby. That's sashimi right there. Okay. No time. While the school's here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do all this real quick. I'm gonna dispatch it so it doesn't kick my you know what here in the kayak like it's trying to right now. Get over here. Okay. All right. That guy should be good to bleed out here at my feet. God, he's still flopping around. Okay. No time, ladies and gents, no time. Fish are here and they're chewing. Nice. I think this one's hung up behind me. I don't know. No, I think this one's hung up. I put a weight on this one. I just didn't want to mess with it. I just wanted to get that fish in. Oh no, it's just a bunch of seaweed. Oh shoot. Yeehaw. I'm thinking I shouldn't mess with two. That was kind of a cluster there. But now I need to pay attention to this other one I just put out. Whew. A lot going on, you guys. We found the yellows. Now we're fishing, ladies and gents. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as luck would have it, the wind picked up, chop picked up for the first time this entire trip, and it's in my face. The sun's about to peek behind the cliff here, so I'm making my way back. I still got both baits out, so who knows? Only got the one yellow, but I'll still call that worth coming down here. What an absolutely fun day. Honestly, trips like these, I mean, I don't, I don't come on a trip like this for the fishing so much as just the adventure, you know, living on the boat for three days, 60 miles out, out in the ocean and the camaraderie and making new friends, hanging with the guys, laughing, incredible food. It's just really hard to beat. It's just really about the experience, the entire experience. And this trip happens to also have some incredible fishing. I'd say this trip was really kind of maybe a little below average for these trips. Yet at the same time, we've got literally dozens of yellowtail on ice, quite a few sheephead, quite a few rockfish, tons of halibut. I don't know how many halibut we've got. Uh, there was a giant black sea bass caught, which you're not allowed to keep, so it was sent back. But this all in all, what a fun trip. What an incredible trip. And then tonight we'll basically all get the kayaks put away and we will sleep on the boat while they motor back to San Diego. And we will wake up in San Diego Harbor about 6.30 in the morning and the crew will clean all the fish for us, divvy them out. They're all tagged with our numbers on them. And that'll be the end of it, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, we caught a few fish. Watch 
making some magic out of nothing though. I'm, I'm excited. This is gonna be good. It smells good already, dude. It's starting to turn white a little bit. A little taste test. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's good, man. It's good. I just had a little, it's good. <laughs> Life jackets and onions, bro. Where else would you keep them? Yeah. Is there more Hennessy down there? That's <laughs> yeah, oh my god. If you pull out a bottle of Hennessy, I'm jumping overboard. So. This stuff right here. so fresh it's perfect I, man, I prefer it almost like not cooked all the way through like especially with yellow tail that was caught today yeah fantastic it's gonna be really good really really good zero people in texas say hello not a single one y'all 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 Good. Out here, these guys are still cleaning fish because we caught like a hundred something fish we kept. The crew of the Islander here, you guys, just worked so hard. Cannot say enough about these guys. Just making this quite this, this special experience for us. This is sea salt that Jake harvested from the ocean right outside the boat. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Ceviche is up. Taco Bell. Hell no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's smart. Yeah. These guys got me drinking Hennessy for the first, first time since college when I didn't have a choice. Just, <laughs> <laughs> the pepper adds like just a little bit of heat. With the sweetness from the oranges. Mm. It's got the sweetness from the mandarin. That cracked black pepper. That's good. A little bit. It just tastes fresh. Mm -hmm. The fish is fresh and all the ingredients are fresh. It's got the crunch from the chips. Phenomenal. Best midnight snack I've had in a while. Thank you, Jake. And Jake. Jake, thank you, Jake. Yeah. Jake squares. I really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. good. He's still drinking this shit. Hennessy never quit you. believes in you, bro. <laughs> yeah, really beautiful fish. It is beautiful. Look at that. You need to grab a spoon. Absolutely insane how many fish this group caught. I keep thinking it's the end of it. More keeps coming out. Crazy. <laughs> 